Apes. My name is Barry and this is just a quick video to answer some questions and introduce you to Assign Observatory 2. This is the building here that was recently on Better Homes and Gardens, episode 37 in October this year, uh, presented by Joanna Griggs. And it's a building that took me two years to complete. I did most of the work myself, uh, but I had uh, electricians and concrete specialists come in to do the stuff that I really wasn't qualified to do. Now, uh, the building's an all-steel construction, steel skin, steel frame, and there's some woodwork inside. Downstairs here, this is the man cave. I don't know how it got this title, but it did. And uh, this is the room of miracles. Um, the floor was donated by the carpet layers who came in and laid it for practically free. The uh, fridge was donated, the chairs were donated, the coffee tables were trees that I cut down, uh, just happened to be at exactly the right time and size. The TV was donated a day after the electricity was installed for free and all the light fittings and the PowerPoint fittings were donated. The old telescope here was donated, uh, all the wood here was provided by my employment and the stairs were provided by a friend who owns his own sawmill for very very cheap. And that's just the beginning. Anyway we'll proceed upstairs. Watch that last step with the red light. And this is the observation deck. So we have here a rotating dome that's on rollers. At the moment it's just manually pushing around. Eventually I'll be putting a motor on it. And the window up here, both the doors open sideways. And again, they're manual at the moment. Um, and I've only got them open a crack to let the light in because it is raining. Uh, the telescope set up here, this is my main imaging rig. It's a... Uh, an Orion, uh, sorry, a Skywatch uh, ED 120mm, which is the black one, and on top of it is an Orion ED 80. So the top one is a guide scope, uh, follows the stars for me and sends corrections back to the mount, an EQ6 mount here, that's what does all the tracking. And the bottom scope is the main imaging scope with the image can camera on the back. That all goes back to the computer here, where I run PhD for guiding. And that's a program where I can put a star on the screen and tell it to stay on a pixel and it will send corrections back to the mount if there's any uh, wear in the worm drives or anything like that. I do all my image processing in a program called Maxim DL Essentials uh, and recently I've upgraded to Maxim DL 5. And then I do all my post processing in Photoshop. At the moment I've only got elements but it's doing the job. And this is where I uh, stack, after I've stacked them in uh, Maxim then I process them in Photoshop. So anyway, I hope that gives you a good rundown. And uh, if you want to know any more, have a look at www.assignobservatory2ii, and assign only has one S, dot com.